Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today I am going to show you how to do Titan Skating. How to create the macro on the G502. What we want to do is we want to create a macro that presses the spacebar as quickly as possible basically. In this case, uh, we usually set it between 25 and 30 milliseconds. Depending on what screen resolution and refresh rate you've got, uh, you'll have to modify it slightly. So let's go do that. This is the Logitech D502 interface, which you saw in the previous video. If you haven't seen that one, it's probably a good idea to go and see it now and then come back. We click on this customize buttons again, and we currently have default profile selected, so we'll change that back to Destiny 2. There's a shader function that we created yesterday. And now we're going to create another function. Okay, so we are going to make a new command. Click on it, select multi key, and we will call this Destiny 2 Titan Skating. And this time, the keys that we want to record is a space bar going down and up. So we start recording. We don't need to check the space in between the keys. So just space down, space up, and stop recording. We want to repeat this on toggle, and this is where you have to do a little testing. The delay is generally best between 25 and 30, and I'll show you what each of those look like. Okay, so we'll add the 25, and drag it onto my top button. So this is what 25 looks like. Start running, then press the button to start the skating. Skates along quite nicely. Okay. Now, if we were being professional about this, we would test each of them, record them, save them, and see which one is quicker. But I'll just show you what my standard is. Okay, so we edit here and change this to 28. Okay, this will automatically update, you don't have to drag it across again. Go back into Destiny and run forward and start the Titan Escape button. And dead again. I am currently running this at 4K. The only difference I noticed was if I change to 1080p when, for example, I'm mirroring the screen so other people can watch while I play. When it drops down to 1080p, I have to modify the jump to about 29 milliseconds for the fastest Titan skate I can get. In general, I would find the single one that works for you, keep it at that, because the difference isn't that huge. You'll maybe take an extra second to get all the way across there. So instead of 10 or 12 seconds or whatever it is, it will take 13 or 14. Not a huge difference, you'll still be flying by everybody else in your team. So that's the end of the second tutorial on macros, specifically the G502 Logitech aiming mouse and the macro for Titan skating. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed and learned something. Speak to you all later.